Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Super excited that you tuned in this double review on two new perfumes by one of my most favorite indie brands, Zoologist Perfumes. And these two fragrances, which are Sloth and Bat Formula 2020, have a connection because they were created by the same perfumer, Prin Rose, who you might remember from Prin Perfume and Stranger's Perfumery, which are his indie lines, but he collaborated with Victor Wong, who is the owner and the creative director of Zoologist Perfumes. And it's pretty funny because I've been a fan of Prin's work for the longest time. And by the way, we have a really cool interview with him, so make sure to check it out. But I remember I've told Victor and uh, Prin as we were at some perfume event that I think they should collaborate together because that will be very successful and not only they created one perfume but there is also a second one which is a reformulation of Zoologist's iconic bat and we'll come to it in a second but first let me tell you about Sloth and I also wanted to mention that did you notice guys that I have a feeling Victor Wong not only portrays some animals spirit in his fragrances but also he creates this amazing images of the animals that relate to the perfumers who created them so I have many more examples that I want to showcase and uh, present in my zoologist top list which is coming up really soon and in case you have zoologist perfume favorites then comment them down below but sloth is one of the current offerings and uh, as you think of this animal you probably think of relaxation and maybe the forest which all makes sense because this is a green perfume and the main note in there is actually chamomile which is known for its relaxing calming and soothing effect and so that is how it smells but not only like that because in the opening it's actually a pretty dirty scent it's herbaceous it explodes with so many different elements that come into one as the fragrance dries down so in the opening there is this very interesting berry note that comes from acai berry and there is that chamomile which adds an herbal but somehow sweet scent but there is also lavender and violet leaf and then just a ton of different notes for example spices like anise and cumin beeswax and marigold jasmine hay some balms oak moss and very interesting note of a mushroom which i guess makes it smell vegetal a little bit gourmand but not necessarily in a sweet way because the sweetness in my opinion comes from the flowers and actually the herbs and that mushroom makes it very foresty and abstract and so even though this is an herbal perfume and it's surely a green one there is this pretty new touch of sweetness which uh, makes it very interesting you know and sort of atmospheric because it takes you to the forest but not a piney one like um, beaver for example does by zoologist as well this is rather that classy um, Fougere scent interpreted in a new way and this style of herbal perfumes is not something new for Prince. he's very comfortable with it because uh, he uh, has done perfumes um, that are similar to this one and I, so I guess Victor was like oh I want the fragrance that you do best uh, in my collection and of course Prince is one of the best who creates herbal sense that's for this unisex relaxing grounding slightly dirty in the opening but later deliciously sweet and aromatic scent will be appropriate for everybody who wants to be layered into something green and um, peaceful but I was actually really surprised by Prince take on Zoologist perfume Bat that actually won an Art Nail Faction Awards in 2015, if I'm not wrong, as the best uh, artistic fragrance. And you know what, guys? I have to be really honest with you. I have never been a fan of the original Bat, and I'll explain you why. First of all, that's a very special and 
odd perfume and I know that many many people love it and adore it and are obsessed with it but I have never been among them because to me that's like a very strange combination of sweet bananas and earth and together they smell of rotten fruits and that's just not necessarily my taste or vibe in general i'm not the biggest fan of earthy elements in the perfumery and that is all about the earth and bananas on me personally and by the way if you're familiar with it then please let me know how you like it in the comments but with that being said why i'm telling you all of that well i was really afraid to try out bad 2020 because this is the reformulation but as I checked the notes there is still that uh, earth in there and so I was like oh my god Preen likes earth because it's in many of his perfumes and so I thought it's gonna be even heavier earthy than the original one and I was so like literally so surprised because that earthy moment let me respray it again on my skin it's kind of kind of obvious in the opening but not really so it is not as straightforward in your face as in the original bed and by the way i'm not sure if he keeps both formulas or this will replace the new one i'll check that and maybe you will be interested in a whole video just about comparing these two beds to each other but this earthy note is rather imaginary than <laughs> realistic and then it's so juicy and fruity and I love that because it makes it more playful and definitely way more wearable because there is a um, note of guava, passion fruit and fig and they are so noticeable on my skin and somehow they smell sour but at the same time sweet, really exotic and just really really pleasant in my opinion that fruity accord in there is very well done and uh, earth doesn't overtake which is amazing for me personally and you know there are also mineral notes and some incense a few herbal notes and even animalic notes and um, as I was first wearing it I was like it's so sexy in the dry down what's going on it smells quite animalic and I couldn't believe that this is an animalic perfume but as I checked the notes there are animalic notes so the way it smells in the dry down is absolutely sexy because it has this dated scent as if you wore it and it got mixed with your body's odor and so it became fruity and kind of like not smoky but there is just like some kind of mystery that is going on and I can imagine that it will smell slightly differently on everybody depending on your scent so guys this is like a shock for me and that is what I love about zoologist perfumes all of them are shocking in a way and uh, I love how creative they are I just stand behind this brand so much and if you have never tried them out you are missing out and you should get some samples or trial sprays but I am smitten with the bad 2020 and in my opinion print creates some magic even though I know that those who enjoyed that earthy element will miss it in this one but I don't miss it I actually enjoy this 2020 formula of bat which is actually a nighttime animal and it's not very dark even though there is this mysterious perfumey vibe going on which makes it a little bit darker but uh, it is actually pretty fun pretty bright that fruitiness on me is really lively and I enjoy it it's definitely in my top 10 zoologist perfumes and by the way that list is coming up really soon so please like this video if you had fun watching it and you're excited for my video about favorite zoologist perfumes that I really recommend to try I will break them down for you really soon and with that being said check out the description box below where you'll find the link to the official website of Zoologist Perfumes and there you can check where you can get Zoologist Perfumes if not ordering from the official website because I know that Victor Wong has 
spread it, his fragrances all over the world and this is definitely the line that will wow you, that will surprise you, that uh, smells very expensive because the quality of all perfumes is uh, over the top, they perform amazingly, they project really well, they last really long. Some of them are more mass appealing than the other, more challenging ones, but there is definitely something for everybody. And you can get samples, travel sprays, and this is just a very fun experience, smelling gorgeous perfumes that are taking you to the different uh, corners of the world. Um, kind of presenting you animals in a new way. So I really stand behind this whole concept and ideas and uh, I'm excited that Prim collaborated with Victor Wong and uh, I hope that Victor will also work with other perfumers uh, and my choices he knows already. And with that being said, if you had fun, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Also, hit that bell and subscribe button and uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about this video. Stay tuned, smell good, we'll see you on the next one really soon. Bye guys!